All right, so, so, another day of rushing around to do a couple things. I just hit myself in the leg now. Set myself in the leg with this damn piece of board. I had underneath the tire over there. But, I just got back from the tire shop. Today is Monday. And, uh, it's funny, uh, my dude, uh, my boots. Oh, look, I'm wet. Dude, my boots are. But, uh, my dude up at the tire shop, uh, Robert, funny, same name as me, huh? Um, but, uh, he's, uh, told me he's, uh, I mean, I, I found out he was on vacation when I was going up there for the past week asking about the tires. And, uh, he said, well, his employees told me he was on vacation, the boss. And, uh, today he just got back on, uh, to work from his vacation. So, I went up there and talked to him a minute ago. And, uh, now I'm home. Getting the truck cleared out from around it. Couple things I was on the ground. Here and there. We're gonna throw some keys up in there. We're gonna roll down these windows. Cause it's hot. Eh, eh, eh. It's hot as a crack pipe. Not here. On. Oh, pity. <laughs> See you on the like that that's one of the bad house a couple houses back there that's uh the for uh playing the clean check out a moose mirror i got that moose power first time i rode with the tow mirrors up that one's kind of cockeyed that one's not straight up. And we're going to alligators. There's usually an alligator or two in there. But uh, uh we we're about to get there. See what's going on. See y'all in a minute.
All right, well, so I just took the straps off for the tires. We got my buddy, got right there pointing his hand at the lawnmower. That's uh, Robert, that's, uh, that's the main dude. Uh, but we here, truck gonna get dropped off. Gonna be done by Friday. And uh, we'll be all together. See y'all in a minute. They're gonna rebalance the tires over here. And then behind this building, they got a couple mechanic bays where they got the lift. And since they got the lift, they're gonna put on the brakes for me and all that. See y'all in a minute. So I was riding back by the tire shop to go back to uh, Van Soto because I bought the window regulator for my van and I came by. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. I came because I live over there. Our van Soto is over there. So I had to come by. I seen it. Well, on the way home from Advanced, I seen it not here where I parked it in. when I dropped it off. I seen it when I drove by that it was not here. So I, when I was coming back through to go back to Advanced, I seen it back over here. So I figured that they threw the tires on. So now they just need to do the back brakes uh, back there. Where that little awning is behind that building. A little white awning. They uh they got a little tire shop. Me and little mechanic shop back there with the lift. But oh I can't believe that looks so incredible. I mean I wish I'd done the paint job now, but I'd rather paint those other rims at home, put the new tires on that, put those on the truck, and then take these tires off since these rims have to be replaced. I mean, these tires have to be replaced. Then put the new tire, the 16s back on with the new tires. Then take the 17s off, take the tires off of them. And then be able to, uh, well, 17, 16s are there. But yeah, take the 17 tires off the 17s, paint them. Then I'll have two sets of rims painted, mounted with good tires and be be moving but i'm gonna uh, talk to them real quick about the truck and this and that and uh see if they want to get paid today or when they do the back brakes i usually would wait until i do the back brakes anyway so we gotta fix this part stack these tires up a little bit easier better see y'all in a minute all right it feels weird the dually being gone i was telling shandy the dually is all the way up there at the shop by itself feels so weird the dually not being here uh i dumped out a bucket drain the water but it's actually raining a little bit I just got home from the store starting to drizzle a little bit here and there a little here and there a little full over the action but all right so had had a bad mishap with the door panel um talk about that when it's not uh, but, alright, see y'all in a minute. Flip. What are we doing on this hot day? Hot, hot. Drain, 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 drain. Uh, reorganizing the shade on the mechanic shop. Like I was talking about stretching that black tarp. I was on the back of the dually. Oh, where'd the dually go? Oh, man, somebody stole the dually. Well, see, I'm home. Huh? I'm real serious. Me. <laughs> playing. Oh, I got Aiden out here. Hi. We're chilling, hanging I'm out. Too. 
carpet bombing to some game on his phone. But, you know, uh, the black tarp that had on the dually uh, covering that toolbox before I got that smaller black tarp. So I'm going to take the bigger black tarp I had and add it to the shop area. I'm going to stretch it over here, connect it to the rope like I had it stringed up the other side of the pole up here. There's a hook up there. Right about there where my finger is. And so I'm string the hook through the loops of the tarp to hold it up. And then, yeah, you play. You see the video? Get it. Kill him. But, uh, so I'll hook the end of the tarp up to there, probably with a couple bungee straps or tie down straps or whatever. Then I'm going to be putting that pole in the ground over there so I can um, be able to mount that and tarp up there. Then this end of the tarp is going to get hooked into that tarp. And then I got a little bit more tires up underneath of here. So, and a couple more back there. But now I got some more blocks and stuff. Plan on getting more tires. So I'll make more of a stack. Wait, chill. Hold on. Let me finish uh, explaining. So, and then the the six tires from the dually. When I get the dually back, I'm going to break the, the old tires down. And use those six tires from the dually to make more stacks. Move freaking moss. But um, I'll make more columns to hold up the tarp. That way I can have this tarp stretched over that pole. Then this tarp connected to this area. So I can have, then I need to find probably another stack of tires. I might get rid of all the trash over here in the, the scrap metal. When I get all this corner cleaned out, I'm going to put a stack over there. Or like a pole or something over here so I can stretch that tarp back have it on this side that way cover the trailer I can back the trailer in underneath the tarp tarp be up here in the air above the ramp and then I'll mount that pole in the ground so it can hold that shade tarp up and hold the black tarp up here for the trailer so I can back the trailer in have it under the cover and then be able to park the dually back up there until I can move out of this area and uh, then have a better property but I want the shade I need the coverage I want to hide them and um, so, and like I said, that truck with the dually running, the dually getting tires, dually getting ready, I'm going to be able to get rid of this truck, turn that truck around, take the engine and transmission out of it, get ready to take the seats, interior, everything out of it, and then make my powder coating oven, I'm going to get some uh, metal tubing. Well, I'll talk about that when I get the door open here in a minute. I gotta get some more stuff out of there, clean it up. But then I'm gonna turn the back into a, a, my storage for my work supplies, my powder coating system, gun, wet paint gun. But like I said, turn that into an oven with uh, metal racking. I'll make metal tubing to form enough racks to hang a rim. Uh, several rims because I'll make three rows. I'll make one row on the driver's seat side. Make one row. <clears throat> hey, I got another truck to show you. Alright, so excuse the mess in here. Getting it all cleaned up. But if I get rid of the steering column, I don't need it. 
come up with a metal tube from the floorboard up to the roof straight to the back and then back down and then make hooks to go into the metal tubing and have another uh, piece of uh, tubing up the middle get rid of the headliner get rid of the, all the plastic and then have yeah. the metal tube my things Sorry. Right, give me a second I'll go down and then make the racks into that one and then do a third row on the the person side up over and back so I'll be able to set one rim here on the driver's seat one rim over the center console area and one rim over the pass seat then the same for the back I'll be able to do so I should be able to get ideally six rims uh, in this truck to be able to like I said get rid of the plastic put a um put a propane tank in the engine bay I thought about firewood make a uh, like a, a uh, like a smoker like have the block of wood on fire in there but I was thinking about the sud the the chemicals burning the wood the oil I can ventilate it, do all that but eh, we'll go propane for now and maybe be able to switch over to wood to be more sufficient, self-sufficient. I can burn wood easier and I can buy propane. Oh, excuse me. But then be able to pipe it through the firewall. And then be able to heat up inside of here. Maybe, maybe um, in the door panel or something. Be able to cut out a hole. Or a um a thermostat but then uh be able to like on that one it has a sunroof but i was thinking about cutting a hole out in the roof for uh ventilation that way i vent the oven and it needs to be anybody does powder coat 365 degrees ish to bake powder coat and at least about 30 20 to 30 minutes depending on temperature humidity and conditions but so that one is going by I don't he wants to do a project with that on his own but then I'm gonna do my project with that and be able to make money turn it into cuz I thought about a uh, 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 tool trailer to make custom toolboxes. Oh, look at that ant! To make custom toolboxes in here, and then put the tongue attachment, or just put it on the trailer to move it to a job site. Then I can have a bunch of tools and equipment either in here. I can be able to leave the bed open for like gathering like if i gotta go to a parts store for a transmission or something whatever i can be able to use the bed so i actually need a couple more chevy avalanches i have about 15 different ideals take the seats out like i talked about before taking the seats out and turn into uh, a mobile storage unit where i could put totes move out of the house take everything out of the house put the boxes in the in the cab without the seats without the steering column without the center col uh, center console and the back seats take that out how many boxes can I fit in here to transport like the moving pods or like we have down the road the cow pods make my own put some tires on here and that one's got tires but 
Put some good rolling tires on it here. Be able to hook my winch to it. Be able to hook up a, uh, a tongue bar, a tow bar to the bumper. There are all kinds of steps, activities. But let me go hang out with him. It's already 10 minutes, 11 minutes, but see you on a minute. Lessons for motivation. What up, yo? So, I'm ending today's video. Um, of course, this is the next day. When I was talking about the, the oven ideal, the storage ideal, and all of the plans with the avalanche. Not just the avalanche. I can, I'm planning on um, at least maybe a uh, like a not a minivan, but the uh, full size van, like the um, conversion size vans and stuff like that. I could fit a lot more supplies and boxes and stuff to use as a shipping, the storage container for moving. I would more, I mean, it'd be okay with an avalanche. I think I can get sufficient with having no engine have that as one storage location and like I said before I thought about like a generator for a perfect uh, home trailer uh, put a generator in there and then Florida you know we got our our typical I uh, just got some dirt in my eye but um you got so much reasons for power outage from hurricanes and whatever all lightning you know your storm come through and knock the fucking power out like that so that would be cool to have a generator in its home and i can run the sense cord to the house for the power so there would be a one avalanche for that purpose or but for the like i said 15 at least purposes of having a broke down vehicle take the engine out take the transmission out and make it light as possible to go on the trailer easily but all that will come but so now we got the mechanic shop tarp up in back in the air tied up the the black part with the rope going up to that pole for the shade tarp and we got that hung up there with a bungee cord right there to hold the black tarp up and then the blue tarp is hooked on to the right there through those uh, those hooks right there and then I'm on the next or over here I'm gonna undo some of that I'm gonna take the blue tarp overlap the white tarp up there then put the black tarp that black tarp over this one then overlap the new black tarp over the other black tarp and that way it'll it won't blow off it won't it'll add resistance and plus I'm gonna put some weights to hold it down on the other side that way the wind can't blow it off and nothing but then like I said the, this pole is going to get put into the ground well probably not into the ground show you all what I did with the my security camera pole but like I got a bucket on the ground uh, put it a concrete pole from the fencing material I got. Um, <clears throat> I put a uh, pole in a bucket and I put sand in the bucket to weigh it down more. So I'm going to do that with this pole and that 4x4 four four post there. I'm going to make a temporary uh, post and then be able to hold it up and then put that tarp there 
in the air with these and the poles and the other stack tires I'm using in the back but make a come out over here a little bit like I said I'll make a way to be able to hook up the truck at the edge of the tarp hook up the truck to the trailer pull the trailer out without having to move the tarp around and all that because the tarp will be fixed into the air like up here so the ramps will clear in and out you know temporary type of carport situation and then like when I finally can move I'll take everything down and take to a new place and hopefully have a better situation there not need to do this but there'll be for other projects that are coming but I'll uh, get to doing that while I upload this sorry it is a little late it's um, 549 today's Tuesday I dropped off the dually yesterday so it will be done either by Thursday or Friday they said give their mechanics enough time to take the brakes apart take the hub out for the rear axle to take the drum off and all that and flute lessons everybody we're going to get to grinding we're going to get to stay moving see y'all in a minute let Aiden say bye goodbye <laughs> Mr. Cool and since I forgot to say Happy Father's Day the other day when I was working on the van, Happy Father's Day, salute and blessings. This is the reason why I do it. And the other ones, the girls aren't actually here right now. So the girls are out with the friend. But I got my son here. And hey. Yeah. Crazy five days. You're going to be 13 years old, huh? Yeah. Ow. What's your birthday? What's your birthday? You just lost in the game. What? Uh, What's your birthday? June 26th. Yep, in five days. He will be 13 years old. That's crazy. But we're going to try to have him. If everything works out as planned, I should be hopefully able to give him a somewhat decent birthday for a milestone birthday. But we're, we're working for that grind. See y'all in a minute.